We begin with a story you'll only see on Western Mass News. A Springfield teen in the hospital for months after he was hit by a car last fall, finally home tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Kramer. Dave is off tonight. And I'm Beth Ward. It has been a very long road for the teenager and his family. Western Mass News reporter James Villalobos has been following his story exclusively and joins us now with the latest. Nice to see that he's Very nice. Home. And Jeff and Beth, this is a huge milestone for Rayshawn Modernado and his family. And as a reminder, he was riding his bike home after a night of roller skating with friends back in October when he was hit by a car at the intersection of Boston Road and Parker Street. Now today, for the first time since that accident, he was allowed to go home. This is Rayshawn Maldonado just days after he was hit by a car while riding his bike. In the weeks and months to follow, he would go through a number of surgeries and therapy sessions. He spent the month in the ICU at Bay State, then two and a half months at Franciscan Children's Hospital in Boston. He then returned to Bay State on January 1st for another surgery and then back to Shriners. His doctor at Shriners, Kirsten Sobis, says the support from his family and the community went a long way in his recovery. When you're in a coma, having your family talk to you is just so important because you have that hope and they are, you never know that are they hearing or not, but if they are, I mean, that's truly a plus to hear your family talking to you. Now today, with his family behind him, Rayshon walked through the Shriners halls one last time, taking the next steps in his recovery. Is it cold out there? A little bit. Well, you better not close on me. His parents first spoke to Western Mass News in a hospital waiting room days after the accident as they anxiously waited for an update on their son. Naomi DeSlongchamps, Rayshawn's mom, says these emotions haven't gone away. I still have moments of like increased anxiety and um, I still cry a lot. But his dad, Renato, says the community has helped them get through this. Having such a big you know, support system definitely helps make it a little bit easier and get by you know, the hard times and you know, it, it, it's, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Despite now going home, Rishan's recovery is far from over. He's got still quite a ways to go. Um, neuro appointments. He's got home tutoring, um, a bunch of evals. He has appointments for the next year already booked and possibly yeah. longer. But it's a recovery that his parents say was made possible thanks to all the nurses and doctors who helped him. The staff is very amazing. They definitely go above and beyond for anything um, and they're open to every idea that we had. I'm just ecstatic because again I think um, again everybody's done so well and again it's just amazing what uh, kids can do and just just amazing how well he's done. Dr. Sobis says while his original prognosis wasn't looking so good she's happy that she can see him go home and wants to tell him. Never give up you're going to continue to do well and it's all positive from here just keep dreaming. And his parents say that anyone interested in continuing to cover his journey can follow the Rayshon Strong page on Facebook. Next month, the driver who hit Rayshon will be appearing in court. Western Mass News will be in the courtroom and continue to cover the story. James Villalobos, Western Mass News.